What's up guys, Jonathan Rizzo here again, talking about reviews. Today we're talking about reviews, but first, smash that like button and make sure you subscribe. Subscribe and smash the like button. Hit that button down there and like it that way. Got my Jets shirt on. Uh, my brother and my dad, big fans of the Jets. You know who else is? My boy Gary B. <laughs> I like the Jets, you know. So today we're gonna be talking about reviews. How to get good reviews and what to do if you get bad reviews. They happen. You're gonna get them sometime, it's okay. Don't be worried, you know, on to the good reviews. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is choose the review sites that you really wanna get reviews on. I don't love Yelp, I'm not gonna lie. Google, everybody looks at Google, right? They have like 94% of the market share in terms of search traffic, it's ridiculous. Facebook, a lot of people look at Facebook reviews, you know what I mean? When they're searching on Facebook, they look at a company, they see the reviews, and your own website. If you have product reviews, for example, they might look at those. People love Amazon reviews, for example, you know what I mean? In terms of a general company, they're probably looking at Google or Facebook. And then sometimes Yelp, I suppose. I don't love Yelp anymore. I, you know, 10 years ago, it was pretty, it was okay. Now, I'm over it. Facebook, still good. Google, your website. So once you determine, you know, the, the websites that you really want the reviews on, you're gonna have to ask for the review, all right, somehow. You're gonna have, people don't just go, unless it's a bad thing, <laughs> they don't just go and write a review for, uh, a good experience, you know, unless you go over the top and really wow them, they're not really gonna write a review. Even then, the first thing in their mind is not, geez, how can I write a review for this company? I really would love to write a review for them today. I wanna go, let's go write a review. Nobody's doing that, you know what I mean? They're just like, hey, great company, love them, they might tell their friend, but they're not gonna go and, if you wanna go the extra mile and write a five-star review online for you, you have to ask them to do it. And then, step three is, when do you ask them? The W's, step three is the W's. The when, the how, the what, how ends in a W, and the why, of, you know, of the reviews. So you want, when we were, I was in the car business, um, after I sold the car, in the beginning of the process, I would tell them, hey, I'm gonna be asking you for a review if this goes well, please uh, write me a review and let me know what, either how I can improve if it's not an optimal experience, but hopefully it will be. And, uh, and please tell everybody else how excited you are about your new purchase. At the end of the conversation, at the end of the sale, I would also say, hey, by the way, you're gonna be getting, uh, how would you, I would ask, you know, again, we're jumping forward a little bit. How would you like us to send you the review request? Um, do, you, do you use text mostly, email? Would you like a phone call? A reminder, you know, to use Google, to use Facebook, what do you like to use? Or on, would you mind putting a review on our site if it was product review for a different company? Then you're gonna ask them, hey, you're gonna eventually write to them or call them and ask them to go online. And you say, hey, would you mind writing me that review? I know we spoke about it briefly. Why are you gonna do it? It's because you love the product or you love the service. You love the, the relationship that we built together during this process of the sale. Uh, you know, it was a genuine process, hopefully a sales process, and it went well. Uh, smooth, no problems, issues, good. Or if there were problems and they were overcome in a, in a good way, that's even better sometimes because the people see how you can take care of business, boom. How? Uh, you're gonna do it on one of the sites, you know, go on, log on to Google, uh, you know, whatever, make make sure you have an account open, just log in uh, and, and go to our company and just write a review, click five stars, boom, and then write that review, boom, hit my name up, thank you. Or Facebook, same thing, just, you know, tell them how to do it. And then the why is because it would really help me out, it helps me with future customers, with my business, and then hopefully when, we, when you come back and you're ready to purchase again, uh, I'll be in a better position to serve you better. It's all good. So you're, you're going to be you're going to be able to help more customers in a better way um, if your if if your business is growing. You know what I mean? You gotta you gotta hope. You gotta think that that's going to be better for everybody, right? So then you're gonna actually you're gonna make it easy for them. Next step, four, five, four, whatever. Make it easy for them to give you a review. <laughs> all right. If they text a lot, give them a text. If they uh, email, shoot them an email. If they wanted a phone call because they don't do either one of those too much, get on the phone. If they need help going through it step by step, it's going to be worth it for you in the long run. It's like money in the bank. This is always going to be online. So hopefully it's a good review and it'll always, it'll help increase your rankings on Google or whatever, or, you know, Facebook, people are going to see it. More people are going to trust it. They're going to come in more often because of the, those reviews. Little by little, rolling a snowball here, marketing snowball. And then the next step use an online review management tool. There are a lot of them out there. I'm not gonna go into specific ones, but there are management tools that can show you, hey, they'll pop up an alert when you get a review. Um, the best ones, if you're sending a link that people can click on and write a review within that, and it doesn't actually post yet, you want one that posts the good and the bad. You don't want to filter these. People trust when they see one or two bad reviews, they're gonna trust the review site, first of all. Um, second of all, 
We're gonna get to it in the how you deal with the bad reviews, but if you can deal with the negative review, review in a positive way, it's even better. It's like the best review because they know that something went wrong, but it's okay because you figured it out and you made it, you acted like they were very important and people understand that if you did it for that person, you're gonna do it for me too. So I'm happy to work with you because I know you'll treat me well no matter what happens. All right, so now on to the bad reviews. What happens when you get a bad review? You wanna freak out, right? You wanna yell at people, you wanna flip out, you wanna go and curse them out, cuss them out, whatever you call it. You wanna go and cut their head off sometimes, all right? And sometimes you know they're coming. You know the review's coming sometimes and it's no good. So, first thing you wanna do when you get a bad review is relax. Calm down, go walk away for a minute. If you need to, you may want to figure out what the problem was. You know what I mean? If it's an operational issue in your company, sometimes it's, uh, it's they wrote a bad review and it's something that you should have been aware of, you should have fixed and you should have solved it uh, before it got to that point. Take it in stride, be strong enough to handle um, constructive criticism, even if, if it's not as constructive as you'd like. <laughs> um, it's criticism, but take it well and try and do something about it. They're giving you free business advice, <laughs> all right? Take it as a learning moment, all right? Teaching moment, whatever you wanna call it. Learn from this and go and do a better job next time. Solve the problem, figure out what the issue was. Step two of the bad review side is you're gonna go and, and write back to them. Apologize. <laughs> you're gonna say, I'm so sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, that this happened to you. It shouldn't have happened to you, and we uh, are, are doing this, this, and this to make it better. Offer a solution to them and respond thoughtfully. Offer them some kind of a, a solution or a, a good, a way that you're gonna fix this, all right? And make it a, a real genuine response to them. Uh, use their name if possible. Say, Mr. Ms. Jones, I understand that um, whatever this happened, uh, and I remember it clearly, or <laughs> you know, something else happened, but and and but we apologize. It was a one-time thing, and we uh, or we have made an effort to change our processes so that this won't happen again. We'd like to do something to resolve this with you, and and do something for you to make sure that you understand how much it means to us to have you as a our customer, and and that we we treat every customer as the most important customer. You really want an ideal client. It's, those are your best customers, right? So make sure that people understand that and be genuine about it. Uh, don't give them a canned response. Don't just copy and paste something off the internet. You know, write to them and take it seriously because everybody's going to see these reviews eventually and you want to make it good. <laughs> you want to make it work, all right? You can turn these lemons into lemonade. You can really do a good job with these reviews. And the, even the bad reviews, you can make them good reviews, all right? Um, people really appreciate it. And then next step, I can't remember which one around. Take it offline, all right? Try and get them to go to phone calls or come in back into the office, whatever it takes. But if they if they see a back and forth conversation and somebody's still not happy, it's gonna get ugly. <laughs> it's not gonna be good. There are some hilarious uh, pictures and stories and all kinds of stuff of chefs flipping out at customers <laughs> after they left the restaurant and other customers saying, you know, you guys are terrible and the, the business owner saying, oh yeah, you were a crappy customer, I would've fired you again if you know. You don't say that stuff. <laughs> Uh, take it offline, give them a call, resolve it that way. Even if it doesn't work out well over the phone, hopefully they won't go back online and say, oh, I just talked to this guy and he was still a jerk or this woman, you know, and then she was still a jerk. You wanna say, all right, we're gonna figure this out. Try and, even if they're not gonna work with you again, just try and cool them off a little bit and, and find a way to resolve it to the best of your abilities, all right? You don't want this to blow up even more online. You want it to look like you are the bigger person, you're the business owner, and you're gonna do your best to take care of every customer, even if they're upset, even, and, and hopefully it's them that are looking unreasonable and not your company. If you can do that stuff, people are gonna, they're gonna be okay with your negative reviews, they're gonna wanna give you positive reviews, and it's all gonna work well for your business. Stick with the reviews, they're very important nowadays. Just handle them with care, <laughs> and handle them in the right way, and, and you should be good. There, there's, you know, I love the reviews, so I'm pretty, I like, I liked getting reviews. <laughs> you know, I liked getting reviewed. <laughs> I liked the idea of it. It usually felt good. I didn't always get number one reviews, but um, I, I, I got my fair share. <laughs> I got mostly five star reviews. And when I got less than five stars, the management the car dealership made sure that I knew it. <laughs> um, and, and I had to deal with the consequences. I made sure that I did whatever I could to resolve the situation. If you have any questions or comments, 
write them in below. Smash that like button, subscribe, and uh, we'll come back with another video soon. All right? Thank you.